All right. Um, yeah, Tommy was just talking <laughs> from the last one because <laughs> I said we're moving on, and and he got a he got a little a little uh, excited there. So just ignore that little outburst of his. I'm, just, I'm teasing. I'm teasing you, Tommy. Um, okay. So so I okay. This is this is what I see. Um, if you know, so it's right in the title. So this is. Not, you know, I haven't seen the trailer, but this is apparently a game a lot like Rust. So that's cool. Rust was a popular game, and a lot of people liked it. And it's a full loot PvP game, so Tommy and I no, probably no. Aren't, aren't into that. Full loot PvP no. means that if somebody kills you, they can take everything from you. Absolutely so, not. Yeah, not, not exactly my cup of tea. But no. um, let's let's check it out. Uh, we are watching the trailer for. The Action Pack needs you. You can support Mike's After Action Reviews on our Patreon for as little as $3 a month. Every quarter, once we've made at least $200, we're going to be giving away 10% of our earnings from Patreon in a giveaway over on our Twitch, so go check that out as well. You can find all of the links for everything in the description and in the pinned comment down below. Do your part. Support the pack. The action pack. Duckside. Official announcement trailer. Rust-like game where you play as a duck. Coming at us from IGN. We're going to like the video. It's got 174,000 views to 5.6 thousand likes. And... Seven, or sorry, 558 dislikes. Tuxide is a persistent world survival game with crafting, base building, PvP, PvE, and since you're a duck, it has flying too. Upgrade your weapons, read guns, along with your bases to defend against enemy raids on servers that support up to 50 foul players. It's in development <laughs> for PC. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good time. Good time. Uh, I, I do it. like the comedy element. Yeah. I do like the comedy element, that's for sure. Uh, any thoughts on this? I mean, before we get started, um, <laughs> I mean, just this freeze frame looks cool here, you know? It does. I, I do I do like uh, crafting and base building. That's one thing I love right. about the game we're playing right now. But uh, Yeah, V-Rising. I, yeah. I don't know how I would like it as a duck. I, I just, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. Uh, well, okay, well, hey, listen, we got a 1 minute and 18 second trailer. Are you ready? Always ready. My name is Steven Russell. My co-writer, Joseph Miles Pittman, and I would like you to imagine a graphic narrative that disrupts the superhero genre's conventional boundaries. Tales of Nihilism unfolds a thought-provoking anthology with diverse story formats from succinct comic strips to multi-saga issues. But at its core, the Ballad of Philip Kirshner explores existential challenges of an ordinary man in a world inundated with superheroes. The anthology challenges prevailing hero worship narratives, diving deep into societal introspection. We invite readers to confront uncomfortable truths about our culture's obsession with saviors and question the prevailing societal structures. The series is not just a comic, but an invitation to contemplate, challenging readers to reassess their perspectives on heroism and societal norms. It's an opportunity to offer audiences a fresh, introspective take on the superhero universe, sparking conversations, reflections on the human condition. You can find the series digitally on Global Comics, or follow the links below to get your own physical issue. Here we go. Okay, it's got guns. It's got guns. It has guns. <laughs> this is just... This is a goofball. Very much. All right, so this is so this is not a Rust like game. This is a Rust clone <laughs> where you can fly. That's really what this is. Your this is a Rust this is Rust where your character can fly. 
this is what is it? Uh, another teen movie to Rust or whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, not another teen movie. Yeah, yeah. Like the yeah the the scary movie spoofs. Yes, like, yes. This is like yeah, it's like a funny version of Rust, yep. but it has exactly <laughs> the same mechanics as Rust. So if you liked Rust, you might like this, or you might just like to keep playing Rust. So <laughs> there you go. Oh my. All right, let's continue on. We got about 45 seconds left. Here we go. Oh, aerial combat. Okay. I do like that. <laughs> I guess. You see the emote? You can have the emote where your character is. Yeah. yeah. That's what that's what was happening right here. Yeah. <laughs> um I mean, I don't know. Okay. I like things like this to be a little bit more serious and cool. Like you'd have to you'd have to give me a lore explanation of why ducks. You know? That's like Squirrel yeah. with a Gun. Remember that one? Because it's right here. Yeah, Squirrel with a Gun is another good example of just like... It's a little bit too goofy for me. Sorry. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. What are your thoughts? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> and how, much, how much do you think a game like this will cost? Uh, $20. Yeah, let's check it out. It's Actually, it might be for free. I bet it's free. You think it's free? Okay. I don't know, though, because of cosmetics I don't know like I don't know um hmm I was thinking I was thinking this is closer to game get your ducks in a row <laughs> there's no such thing as too many ducks are you a chicken no you're a duck Okay, I mean, you know, and it's just, it's, I mean, it's fine. It's not, I'm not, it's not that it's bad. It's it, it necessarily, it's just that you can see it's, do, you know, really going into the kind of like the funny aesthetic. Of, yeah. Oh, it's ducks, you know, ducks with guns, gun ducks. <laughs> so the pigeon simulator, hello neighbors. Um, yeah, so there's, yeah. A certain type of game that they make and it's a little bit of a spoof of other things so um yeah i mean so you said twenty dollars there's no there's no price on it right now i wouldn't i would say you know 20 or less i don't think it'll be able to be free though because if they do it free if you if you release a game free you'd have to have something you know you got to monetize in some way and i don't see them like you know because rust wipes so if this game wipes the servers um, you know, it's not like skins. I don't like for your duck would be how you'd have to make money. I don't see them necessarily doing that. It's possible, but I would probably say probably like a twenty dollar game. Yeah. Um, if you look at their other stuff, yeah, it's all it's all like cheaper stuff, fifteen, twenty dollars, their most expensive game, I'm not sure. Um I mean they've got quite a few games, but a lot of them are cheaper in the twenty dollar range. Which doesn't mean that they're bad. I'm just Fortnite is what this is making me think of. It's Fortnite. Yeah, but it's but it's it's not um it's not it's the, the, you're not building exactly like Fortnite. I mean it's it's but it's the mechanics are exactly like Rust. Like you've seen Rust, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not yeah. you're not building like Fort it's not a procedurally it's not like you're dropping in to play to to you know, kill, you're dropping into, like, it's a survival game. You build a base and all that stuff, and other people can attack you, but, um, yeah. Anyway, so there's that. Um, we've got, I'm Theops. Hello, Theops. What's going on with you, buddy? Um, can't tell if this is another April Fool's joke. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> during the 2020 to 2021 season, 226,900 hunters took almost 2.8 million ducks and nearly 800,000 geese. The duck harvest increased 24% from 2.11 million the previous year. It's time for the ducks to rise. Um, we do not play <laughs> Vegans United to build this game. <laughs> um, we do not play Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, I'm sorry to. We, right now, we, we do trailer streams every week uh, over the weekend, and we also live stream during the week um, games that we then review at the end of the month. At the end of each month. Um, this better not be an April Fool's joke. If we can get Squirrel with a gun, I'm not sure why we wouldn't get a game like this too. Yes, keep going with this animals with guns genre being revived. First Squirrel with a gun, now this. Yeah, it'd be like, you know, animals with guns could be cool. You know, like Gorilla with a shotgun. I don't know. Just... <laughs> just. Um, yeah, so... I would gift. Oh, don't worry about it. No problem. Just coming here and viewing us. Go check out uh, the YouTube channel. We're doing a cash giveaway over there, so you can subscribe over on YouTube and watch those. That's cool. Um, yeah, I mean, any last thoughts, though, on this one before we move on to the next one? I don't know. I mean... No, not really. No, not really. Like, if the mechanics are just like Rust, then you know what you're getting into, and then it's just the aesthetic of a duck. So for me, it's like, ah, I might as well just... For me, I'm the guy who just would, would say, well, I'm just going to play Rust if I was yeah. going to play a game like this. Because I don't like the goofiness. Um, <laughs> I'm not into, like, the goofy stuff. I'm more into yeah. the more serious toned stuff, so... Um, but all right, let's move on to the next one. Here we go. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while a live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch, so that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after-action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my Spring store. The links for everything are in the description below.